in the Olympic Games. And I mean, that normally rolls on for an extra hour after the track action is done in morning sessions on the IAAF athletic circuit. And yet, you still have 60, 70,000 people staying to watch, which I thought was brilliant. The French have enjoyed it today. They've had a, a couple of gold medals. They were very excited to see Mandy Francoise Eli clinching France's first gold medal on the track on day. First gold medal on the track. And uh, she set a new world record in qualifying on Sunday. And looked fantastic in action today, winning the women's 200 metres T37. And we saw gold as well in the long jump. There's a lot of badges on the hat there. The competitor from the United Arab Emirates, this is Siham Al Rashidi. 18.55, currently ranked fourth. So this will be her sixth and last attempt. She's third to throw in the last eight. Currently in fourth spot, gets a white flag. So Sihem Al Rashidi has thrown so far 18.32, 18.55, 18.03, a no throw, 18.36, and she's got a no throw not from the judge at the landing point, but the judge from the takeoff point, and that means that she'll have moved a buttock up off the chair. So no dice there, and her best 18.55, enough to earn her 752 points and leave her in fourth place. Let's just check how it stands at the moment then. Algeria Safir Jalalel, personal best, 30.53. And I think she will win it. Sylvia Grande, Jamaica, in second place, 19.85. Third place, it's Magic of the States. Fourth is Al Rashidi, we just saw. Gurari of Morocco and Volek of Russia, Liu of China, Hernandez of Mexico and Dansu in ninth at the moment. Let's have a look at that one throw then that is way bigger than any of the others. None of the other competitors have even been over 20 metres, but Safia Jalal of Algeria has gone over 30 metres. Blows us a kiss, 30.53 and she's way, way ahead and on course for a gold medal. So this will be Nora Gurari of Morocco and it will take a while for the wheelchair to be strapped in.